What's going on, everybody? How are you doing today? So here I am in Van Nuys, California, which is just above Hollywood. It's in the valley, and I'm outside of Chandler Valley Center Studios. And guess what they filmed here? The Office, one of my favorite shows of all time. Obsessed with The Office? Yes. Yes, I am. Love The Office. So I'm gonna take you to a whole bunch of filming locations from The Office. They're all here. They didn't film anything in Scranton. Most of it is all right here. Isn't that crazy? And it's all within like a short, they didn't really go into Hollywood. They didn't go down to like Long Beach or somewhere like that. All up here in the valley, all the houses, everything is right around this area. They did a lot of exterior shots, like establishing shots in Scranton, which is a, a second unit crew. But the cast always is filmed right around this area right here. But here's the famous, here, here it is. Here's Dunder Mifflin. And I'm gonna dramatically pull the camera down and look right there. There, uh, sorry, I'm waiting for this person to, I'm trying, I wanna get a good shot, but I, this person's doing their own selfie here. Uh, so I'm just trying to get a video. Can I just quickly, uh, whoa. I know you. I know you gonna dig this. Get, get, get funky with me. You come to my house, bust up my trash cans, call my baby sister an ass and told her to eat dog food. Look everybody, it's Myla, Daryl's sister from The Office. How cool is that? Ah, yes yeah. sir. Thank you so much, my love, for coming no out. No problem, no problem. Look, I'm holding my Oh, my bad, my bad. <laughs> don't be ever, don't be ever does that. All right, here we are at the office. You worked here. I sure did. It you was sure a, did. Oh, oh, one of the best times of my life. I bet. All right, let's talk about it. All right, all right. All right, so, wait. People, are, people watch my channel know that I hate trucks. They're so loud. So how did you get the part? You were in, oh, man. yeah, which which season was it? Season season six, episode two. Yep, called? Yes, the Meeting. The Meeting, yes, that's right. Yes, yes, Uh Actually, it was just right timing. I had signed up for Central Casting, and at the time when I was calling, there wasn't really anything for me. Uh, I'm a very large woman, as you, as you guys see. But they've had this episode coming up, and they needed someone who had the height, and yes, that was me. That was you. So they reached out, and I came out for an audition, and they liked what they saw, and the rest is history. So the casting call was basically a tall African American woman. Yeah, someone that like uh, could, like you could confuse Craig with, because right. you know he's a little husky, so you can't have no thin tall black woman yeah. trying, you know. But I actually did get confused on set when I was going to the restroom. Um, one of the, I guess from maybe HR or something, was walking into the restroom and had turned around. I was like, Craig, what you doing? I'm going to hold up. This is not Craig. <laughs> you, even the even the crew's room was a, that's hilarious. I mean, it's it's an iconic moment when they're staking out the house, and yeah. I'm gonna, I'm going to put a little clip of that in right now. And there it is. They're sticking in the house, and they mistake you for Daryl. Yeah. And that sets off a huge <laughs> chain of events. So let's walk down here. I'll show you something that I think is really cool, but we'll see what we can see. So it kind of sucks. I used to come out here in um, 2012, 2014, when mm -hmm. just when the show was on, and I talked about it before how I came and I got to meet the whole cast. Okay. And yeah, yeah. I met um, Toby right here, right here at these nice. gates, Phil, okay. I believe. And uh, yeah, then I met the whole cast during the filming of the uh, the work bus episode, which was really awesome. So you came here, how many days did you do? Was it just a day shoot for you? No, so I had to come first, <clears throat> after I got booked, I, after I got cast, I had to come so that they could do something with my hair, because at that time I had a long weave, and you know, that's not what the look that they was going for. So I came out so that they could see what they was gonna do with my hair. And um, she, it was complete makeover. Had the wig on. A lot of people didn't even know it was a wig. They thought it was my hair. Right. Um, but I came out for that, so that was one day. Um, and then it was actually a whole week of filming. Really? Yeah. Whole week, yeah. A so you were there week. for, yeah, I guess you, you would, because you were there for, I would think you are in about five scenes, four or five scenes. Oof. About, yeah, about four or five. And then there was also um, one that was, two that was cut out. Oh, that's too bad. 
It's all good. Hey, <laughs> people still know who I am. So That's right. It's all that matters. And here it is. So it's in this building right here, right? This is the one with stage three, or well, is it further back? When I was when I was coming here, when I walked in here, this was where catering was, and it. Oh my god. <laughs> this was my very first gig ever in the acting industry for me. So when I walked, and to be treated so well, um, I, I was nervous when I first got here. Of course. Was, you know, I didn't know what to expect, but people who I didn't even have scenes with, they they were just so welcoming and having conversation with me. And Craig was amazing. Um, I remember when we were sitting um, at the house, we were sitting on set and, uh, you know, if I had questions, he had answers. And I just really appreciate the advice that he gave me and right. still sticking to it. Yeah, I remember, I, I always thought about one thing is, um, because I listen to the podcast, mm -hmm. you know, that Angela and um, okay. Jenna do about the show. And because the Friends cast of the, you know, the TV show Friends, yeah. apparently they were never very friendly to guest stars. Really? Yeah, that I, you know, I guess I'm putting them on blast right now, but it's not like I'm getting on that set, so that's okay. But I heard that the Office cast was very welcoming and yeah. very warm, everyone. They were. That's amazing. I really enjoyed it. Yeah. So where was this set? Where was the... Because there's the other building right there. So... We did the scene, the scene where we're um, <clears throat> down in the break room area for the, I guess, is it the janitorial workers? It's the warehouse. The warehouse. I'm not sure of everybody's positions up in there, but we were in that scene and that was this building. Yeah, that, the warehouse is actually in that, in the main, yeah, in the main building. There. And then I did get to see the set of the um, the desk and everything, yeah. but obviously I didn't have my shoot in there. But the only shoot that I did have was you in the at nook. Toby's desk. In the, the nook, yeah. Yeah, so it wasn't that big part area. Um, I believe that area, no, I think it was over there. I'm not really sure. It was 2009. <laughs> I don't remember. <laughs> it's hard to remember. Well, come over here. I want to show you something that I, that I find really cool. And then we're going to go, wait a second. We're gonna go to the house, aren't we? Oh yeah! We're gonna go to Daryl's house. I haven't seen that since the episode. I'm a bit of an office geek, so I've seen it a few times. Okay, okay. <laughs> Even before I did YouTube, I was going there. But right here is where they had the scene. I forget which season it is, but um, where Dwight hired a hitman. Oh what? Yeah, Dwight hired a hitman, and they <laughs> they got in the car right here, him and Angela. So they filmed it right around the corner, right here. Right, right where this, uh, this is. <laughs> this. <laughs> yeah, they found it right here. All right, we ready to go to Daryl's house? Yeah. What, your house? I was visiting. <laughs> what was your name on the episode? Gwyneth. Gwyneth. Let's go. Oh, but. Can't get for, over the fence. other stuff, yeah. Um, like, the, uh, what's it called? You want me to take it? I could get, probably get a little. You think you can get over there? <laughs> I'm too excited. There's where the warehouse would have been, right down there. There's Michael's office, his window. Dwight's car would have been parked right there. There it all is. That's it. That's the office. Of course, we threatened to jump. He threatened to jump from up there. And then they had a wire going across from here. To there where Dwight rode the bike. Got stuck right there. Okay, my let's so we stopped to do a little bit of that. Now we're gonna yeah, go to the house. Alright, here we go. <laughs> here we go. So we've done a little drive. Gwen 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 <laughs> <laughs> Myla. We've done a little drive. We mind us 30 seconds or less. What what happens in this episode? This scene is where I come around the corner with the dog food on my shoulder mm -hmm. which happened to be like there's just like the little peanut things in there so it wasn't really heavy dog food right um, I come around the corner and that's when Toby and Dwight are in the car and confuse me for right Craig and then Craig comes out the door and then they see both of us together and BAM surprise it's two of us do you remember what they yell at you hey you asshole you're gonna eat all that dog food yourself <laughs> <laughs> and they were parked right here. Yep. They were parked right here. And here's the house. This was this your was, house. Yep, this is where we was. Right here. You're coming right down from that 
From this Step corner right. of the yeah. House. Oh yeah, you came around the corner. He yeah. comes out of the house. Yeah. And he comes out the house on his crutches, right? There. Right. Because they think he's scamming the company. Yeah. Yeah. To get workman's comp, I think it was right. Yep. Right. When does Daryl ever come to? You got any birthday cake? That <laughs> that that line has me dying all the time. <laughs> Ray Wilson. Oh my God. It's the look. I'm telling you. I was. We were talking earlier. It's that look you give when Dwight says, because they confuse you with the brother. Yeah. And he says, "What? Really?" And then you just give a look. Mm-hmm. <laughs> there it is. And then and then in, down in the warehouse. It's in the no no. It's up in the nook. You walk away, and what do you say? Sad. Sad. <laughs> Sad. But this was a, to me, this was a very uh, huge moment for me because I got to sit on the porch with Craig Robinson and yeah. um, it was when Dwight and Toby were doing their scene and we just got to actually talk. I got to pick his brain. I got to ask questions. And um, the one thing I asked him, I was just all, you know, what's the best advice you can give me? You know, this is my first gig, first thing ever. And the one thing he said, he was just all, just be yourself. It's like, don't ever change who you are. And uh, for people who are trying to get into this industry, that's the one thing I try to say as well. Don't change who you are. You know who you are. Don't let, don't let because you got money, fame, fortune, all of that, don't let it change who you are or how you treat people because we're all human here. And if this pandemic hasn't taught us anything, we all have to survive through something. Right. But, um, <clears throat> Also, this was my first time learning what a PA was. Right. I didn't know oh, all yeah. of these positions. <laughs> right, you're telling me this. Um, we were sitting here just waiting, chilling, and um, a PA comes up to us, and mind you, he's a white boy, so <laughs> he's like, hey, you know, you guys want anything from uh, from the food truck? So I turned and looked at Craig, I was like, he finna get us something? <laughs> For, that's how it works? Okay, okay. <laughs> and what did he get you? Do you remember what you had? <laughs> I actually didn't even want anything. No. Probably just a bottle of water or something. Uh. So yeah. the, you, they, how many trucks did they have on the street? Um, honestly, it was a it was like a bone a skeleton crew. Yeah, uh, they just had the food truck. Uh, they had like one camera. Um, we came in a van, right. so it wasn't because it, it wasn't needed. Like the scene was very just. Yeah, it's pretty much it's pretty basic scene. Yeah. yeah. And I don't know. I'm sure you guys know because you guys are office fans. But uh, when they were hitting the trash cans, they weren't even driving at that part. They were being pulled. Right. Somebody else. Would, yeah. yeah. A lot of people don't know that. That's not the actor driving. It's it's, it's, on, it's either yeah. on a rig or they're being pulled. Yes. Yeah. Safety is the most important thing. Yeah. So and then I told you something that you didn't know. Let's walk over here. Oh yeah! Oh, I'm shocked. This was Meredith's house from the office. Meredith. Yeah, right here. So she did the walk of shame. And she was, it was Michael's last Dundies. That, that was the episode. But um, she did the walk of shame coming home up this street right here. Okay. Yeah, okay. so this is Meredith's house. And it's for sale. Okay, have a piece of the office. Yeah. You have a little office history. That's really cool. This was Meredith's house. What else can you remember from that day? Or did, did you meet, is it, was it, so Phil, who plays Toby, Rain Wilson, yeah. Craig, uh, anyone else um, that you met? Okay, I don't know the names, right. but the, uh, the one we were just talking about that got married uh, in, um, where was that wedding at? They they married they were married on the on the show. Uh, Jim and Pam. Yes, I had a scene with Pam. Oh, you did, and it got cut out. Yeah. Right. So that oh, was actually my oh, first scene yeah. of the day. Yeah, that was a scene where she runs after you. Yeah. In, 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 yeah, it's. I'll put a little link to that below, or I'll put a little clip inside. Yeah, yeah she runs after you, thinking you're Daryl. <laughs> mm, that was funny. Yeah, that that's really funny. very funny. She's so sweet. Girl. And then there was a scene where we were sitting on the couch, uh, Craig and I, and it was full di full on dialogue. I was like, hey, they told me I wasn't supposed to have no lines. Yeah. Ooh, but you know, I still rocked it. But I also understand, you know, it's even though it's a 30 minute window, it's really 23 minutes because of commercials and right. everything. So I I got enough to get me SAC eligible. That's amazing, Hartley. yeah. So I was really happy and excited and um, I am still pursuing it, just different different venues, different avenues, different ways right. of um, learning about this world, just life itself. Amazing. Well, good luck to you. Let's walk back Thank down and get so one more shot of you in front of the house. It's not too often I get to 
be with somebody who's on the office at an office location. And this is my first time being interviewed at an, a location. Yeah, first time. Oh. I've done <laughs> just um, Instagram live and just uh, like a FaceTime video call. So to actually be where to actually be where we shot it. Yeah. Right here. And this yeah. is it. Thank you so much, Myla. No problem. <laughs> Peace to the world. Oh, oh my God. You, you remember her from the from that day? Yeah. Yeah, that was me. Yep. Yeah. See, Craig Robinson was in her house. Oh, he's in the house. <laughs> I just had a fro. I had an afro. Yes, I know. Yeah. Yep, and I have to, uh-huh, and the green jersey. Why don't, I, I have a good idea, hold on. You could be Craig Robinson. <laughs> Thank you so much. Okay, ready, Myla? I'm going to give you a cue. I'm your director. Ready? Where's your bag of peanuts? <laughs> your bag of... <laughs> Let's go. Action. <laughs> Hey, asshole, you gonna eat all that dog food yourself? Oh, yeah, you, asshole. That look. Toby, you that gonna eat all that me. dog food yourself? <laughs> Come on, Toby. Come on, Dwight. Let's do this. It's all shot now. It's just the field there for the little bird bath. Yeah, okay. these, were, these are up on the veranda. Uh, the brand, we, veranda? We call them brands. Well, Myla has to take off, but I actually filmed all these. I filmed this whole video already once. So I'm going to cut now to that. I had a little bit more hair. That was in April or May when I was out here. So we're going to cut now to me going to Toby's. I don't know how I'm going to edit this together. I don't know how I'm going to do this, Myla. Because <laughs> I've reshot so much now. But I've got two more locations coming up. And then at the end, I'm going to tell you sort of. I remember what I did. Oh, yes. Now I remember. Because I go somewhere else in the next video. That's really cool. Stay I told tuned. you earlier. Right yes. Thank you, Myla. All Thank right. Thank you. So I'm going to have a little bit of hair. And, but I did remember the t-shirt. We're going down to Toby's house. But Toby. I, I could have screwed I'm it. coming for you, Toby. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> we're still on the corner shooting the shit about the show. <laughs> and you, we're telling stories. Well, I'm, I'm asking you stories, so I got I got to share these. I can't just <laughs> keep them to myself. So what were you telling me? So there's the, uh, when, we were, when the four of us were standing up uh, against each other, um, <clears throat> this was my, my first thing ever. And... To be able to hold my composure and not just break out and laugh because I'm a, everybody who know me I'm a laughable person I'm a fall out laughing just, but I had to I had to get serious and when I was standing there if you guys find the bloopers I have it on my Instagram when I'm standing there you could just hear everybody around us just cracking yeah. up and then slowly Craig starts laughing then rain and then uh to to me, Phil Phil yeah. Phil starts and then I'm all. Come on, you can hold it, hold it. And then afterwards, I just fell out and lost it. <laughs> and I can't believe she held it that long. But I guess I always think about that, actually, when it's uh, somebody who's a guest on the show, when I watch bloopers, and it always seems like the guest is the last to break because you, you're you like, I don't want to break. I want to be completely professional. Exactly. Like I'm the, trying to be professional. I'm trying to stay in character. Yeah. And But also... I had too many of uh, my acting coaches in my head right. in that particular scene because they were so adamant about, don't change this, don't do that, don't do that. And I'm all, man, if I could get that moment over, which, you know, it, 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 I could have did something different because I had too many people in my ear, in my, in my mind, and I'm all, shut all of that shit out. Yeah. Just go and do you. So right. I had to, there's this line, um, Actually, it was on the office. Um, I, I don't know why I can't remember his name right now, but he played the fly. He played the fly? <laughs> yeah. What's that actor? Jeff Goldblum? Yes. Uh. So this, this line has really helped me. And he says, don't learn the lines. Let the lines learn you. Oh. And I've been saying that to myself since I saw that episode. And it, it's, it's really, it's true. It helped you. It really helped me. And once I do get back into the acting world, it's going to be a whole nother ball game. Y'all better keep out. <laughs> All right. No, wait, I'm sorry. Y'all better watch out. Better watch out. And and, and as we are saying, we 
classic lines when Dwight says, am I the only one that sees it? And then Toby says, I don't see it. I don't see it. And then what's your line? <laughs> one more time. Sad. <laughs> These locations are really, really close. This is literally right around the corner, right there. Come right down this street, and that was Toby's house, right there. Right there, Michael ran up. You know what he did. But that's Toby's house from the office. Everybody loves a wedding, right? And Phyllis married Bob Vance, a Vance refrigeration, right here. How cool is that? Oh. I won't be here that long. But this is the church right here. Phyllis would have been standing on that step. All right, look where we are now. This is pretty cool. This is the home of Oscar. Oscar Martinez lived right here. How cool is that? That's Oscar's house. Now Dwight was watching them when Dwight was very, very clueless about Oscar's roommate. Again, this is from memory, but he was watching them from across the street, but was he watching them from this angle? I feel like it was, I'm guessing now, but I feel like it was from this angle, looking this way. They were taking stuff out of the trunk of the car. I could be wrong. I'm probably wrong. I'm talking like Nate from The Office. Nate's one of my favorite characters. My mother and I are quarreling because I can't stay out of her things. These locations are all throughout the valley. It's very cool. This does not look like Scranton. I've been to Scranton, PA, but it's not bad. It's pretty good. So here I am in the Steamtown Mall. Nope. It's actually Westgate Fashion Center, I believe it's called. I call it Riverside Mall. I think that's what it used to be called. But this doubled as Steamtown Mall in Scranton. But it's here in the valley, and I'm on a mission to find the fountain that Michael tried to jump into. Here's the Victoria's Secret. I don't know if it's in the same location, but that's where they went and they bought a bunch of stuff. That's what Michael thought they all wanted. They also filmed shots in the food court here. But there's the Victoria's Secret, right there. The fountain should be right up here. Found the fountain. Pretty cool, eh? Oh, Michael. There it is. And finally, here we are at the last location for this video about the office. This was Jim and Pam's house. Formerly Jim's parents' house. Then he bought it without telling Pam. But it was the best gift she ever got. This was their house right here. Right there, that was Jim and Pam's house on the show. Now, of course, I picked a bad time of day to film this. The sun's a bit glary. If that's a word. Isn't that a nice house though? That's a really cool house. Lots of shots of them coming out when they're going to uh, Roy's wedding. I remember those scenes. And uh, yeah, he brings her back here, just takes her in the house. That's it right there. It's Jim and Pam's house. Have I mentioned that? Jim and Pam's house. Speaking of Jim and Pam, remember when they got married? Was that not one of the greatest episodes of TV ever? When the entire, like everybody in the office was dancing up the aisle to Chris Brown's forever? Come on, that was amazing. I love that scene. That church, fortunately it's never open. Can't get inside. See you on the next video. Peace out.